Hello darlings, I am Cassandra George Sturgis. Welcome to my channel Authentic Beauty Handmade Dolls and Crafts. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sculpt the ears for your Josephine sock doll. Thank you so much for watching. Once you trace the ear for the sock doll, which was done in a previous video, you are going to sew around the markings. After you sew around the markings, you are going to cut out the sock doll's ears. And then on the side where the markings are, you are going to cut a little slit right in the center of the ear and then you're going to flip the ear inside out and next you are going to fill the ear with fiber fill do not fill it with too much fiber fill because <laughs> you don't want an ear that's too fat but you do want to put a little bit of in there that gives it um, a distinctive look um, if you look at the video it's not a small amount I think it's about I don't want to say the size of a jack ball, <laughs> but you, as you can see, it's more than you probably would normally expect. Once you stuff the ear with the Mountain Mist or Morning Glory Fiber Fill, you are going to ladder stitch the little vertical line in the center of the doll's ear. And once you finish ladder stitching the opening, you are then going to draw a C around the ear and then you're going to sew tracing the C to create a little bit of texture and personality to the doll's ear. Now that you have ladder stitched the opening in the sock doll's ear, you are going to draw a C maybe about a half an inch in around the circumference of the doll's ear like I'm doing in the video. Next you, are, you can use your sewing machine and trace that C or you can sew it by hand like I did in the video. This is going to give, give the ear an indentation and give it more personality. And it's not major, like you can even add a little, another line, another C, like a smaller C, like right in the center, if you like. I like the way that look as well. This song is from the YouTube library and it's called Toe Jam. It reminds me of when I used to skip school in high school. And I think it kind of reminds me of like Zap. I don't know if anybody remembers Zap. And, but it also re reminds me of not just when I was in high school, but when I was like really in shape and I could dance. So while I'm listening to this song, I am like in shape and I am jamming out in my head. Now that you have completed sewing your ears, you are ready to attach them to Josephine's head. And so the first thing you want to do is place the ear in alignment with the eyes, like at the very top of the eyes, and you're going to use some pens to hold it in place. So like I've said in pre previous videos, just worry about the first ear. You know, I used to worry about putting both in place. 
But no, just get the first ear perfect and use it as a guide for the second ear. And sometimes, you know, even though I, the rule of thumb is to place the ears like right in alignment with the eyes like in the corner of the eye because of course we're we are imitating the human body but sometimes it doesn't feel right so when you're placing your doll's ears make sure that it feels right to you because at the end of the day she is still a doll Oh my god I love her ears I, they are not as even as I had wanted them to turn out but this fabric is so soft that I was able to move it around and you know like I said when you're making cloth dolls you have to be comfortable with ambiguity uh, in the next video we're going to paint Josephine's eyes so make sure that you do everything to her so that you don't have to touch her for 24 hours I know there's a doll inside of you who is dying to come to life, but only you can breathe life into her. Thank you so much for watching.